I'm Christine Leahy, and this is The Five on WEEI.com. We finally got answers to why Adelius Thomas got benched last Sunday, and they're coming straight from the man himself. Belichick? Yeah, right. But that's who Thomas says we should ask, because apparently he's the one who feels the linebacker's game has been subpar. Thomas's thoughts? This isn't kindergarten. Wow. Mike Petralia has more at number one. There's been a new standard set for our mailbags. The writers need to clean up the submissions before they can be posted to the site. So if you have a ton of spelling and grammatical errors, Kirk Minahan has to take the time to correct them all. Hmm. Let me just tell you, he is not happy about it. This week he actually called one of the emailers special and listed just a few of his really bad spelling errors. They're pretty bad. Check them out in the entire grammatically correct mailbag at number two. The Bruins finally pulling off a 3-2 win at the Garden over Nashville. We're excited about that, yes, but I have to admit I did smile when Colin Wilson, a former Boston University player, scored his first NHL goal. I wonder which meant more, scoring in the pros or getting a goal in the bean pot. That wasn't enough for the Predators, though. Haggerty has more at number three. As we've said before, there are a lot of question marks for the Red Sox in this offseason. And one very large question mark is Jason Bay. Theo, when are we going to get him signed? Players, as you know, they have, they have to work hard to get through the minor leagues and then work hard to get six years of free agency and Jason, six years of service to get the free agency. In Jason's case, it took longer than that because right. of the extension that he signed. So, I, you know, I, I think every player who reaches free agency has the right to dictate the process as long as he wants. And the team has to prepare. I don't think we're... We're not going to be held off. Theo was on the Dennis and Callahan show today and discussed several other topics as well, including whether he was disappointed by this season. You may be surprised by his answer. Check it out at number four. Still fuming over the end to this year's sock season? Still have questions lingering in your head? Well, now's your chance to ask away to hitting coach Dave Magadan. He will be chatting live today at noon to take all your questions in this second time around at the Thursday Baseball Chat Series. Just be nice. Click on number five to join in. Those are the five things to check out today on WEEI, but here's one more. By now you've heard about Steve Phillips' affair with an ESPN production assistant, but now you can see pictures of Miss Brooke Hunley up on the producer's blog. I'm Christine Leahy, and that's the five.